Find and graph the equation for a function g of x that reflects f of x equals 3 to the x about the x-axis. State its domain, range, and asymptote. Okay, so if we remember for, from transformations of functions we learned earlier, to reflect a function about the x-axis, you multiply it by negative 1. So if f of x equals 3 to the x, then to reflect it, if we're going to reflect about the x-axis, then g of x would be the opposite of 3 to the x. Now, sometimes we'll put parentheses around the 3 just to be safe, but that's the function. Now, f of x equals 3 to the x, I'll graph that, the original function, in blue. f of x equals 3 to the x, that is a basic exponential function. Since the base is greater than 1, it's increasing. It has a y-intercept at 0, 1, and it has a point 1, 3, point 3, uh, 2, 9. I guess I should mark that, you know, we're using a scale of 1s here, so label my axes. It has the point negative 1, 1 third and negative 2, 1 ninth. And so we get the graph of f of x equals 3 to the x. It looks roughly like this. But we want the reflection. So g of x, the reflection about the x-axis, well, we would just change the signs of each of those points. So I'd have the point negative 2, negative 1 ninth negative 1, negative 1 third, 0, negative 1, 1, negative 3, and 2, negative 9. And again, I'll sketch the function roughly. I don't like how I drew that, the asymptote. Let's try that again. And so there is the function, right, g of x equals the opposite of 3 to the x. The domain of the function, g of x, is uh, all real numbers, uh, negative infinity to infinity in interval notation. The range of the function. All right, so g of x, the range, uh, it looks like we can get large negative numbers and then uh, our outputs can go up to zero, but not include zero. So I will write the range as negative infinity to zero, parenthesis. And then the asymptote of the curve is this line right here. It's approaching, and that asymptote is the line x equals, I'm sorry, it's not x equals. It's the line y equals 0. It's the line y equals 0. It's the x-axis, which is the line y equals 0. Uh, 